Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Now this is something a, uh, actually quite a bit different than my normal stuff. Uh, I'm going to be showing you the basics of modding in Starbound. It's really quite simple, everything's set up in a way where uh, basically anyone can edit it. I will be using Notepad++, you can just use Notepad, but I like Notepad++ for the whole editing thing. I'll put a link down in the description, you don't need it, but I like it. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's just get on to the tutorial. This is just uh, basic uh, modifying items and stuff like that. Alright, so uh, to start off, you're going to have to get to your Starbound folder. I'm using Windows 8. Um, doesn't really matter, just find your program files. So I have 64 bit, so I will uh, go to program files x86. I believe if you have a 32 bit computer, you just go to regular program files. But anyway, once you're in your program files, you're going to want to scroll down and find Steam, then go to Steam apps. Uh, common and then these are the games that you have on steam. So since we're editing starbound, let's just go to starbound Okay, so once you're uh, in your starbound folder, I highly suggest backing up your assets folder uh, I have it backed up right here. So uh, I'm just gonna assume that you have it backed up uh, So let's just get right down into it. So go to assets and then these are all the things that you can edit um, You can edit anything from here Alright, so uh, I'm going to edit a weapon, so I'm going to go to items, and weapons in general, besides guns like melee weapons, are classified under the folder swords. So I'm just going to click on that, and then you have to choose which race, uh, so I'm a glitch, my new account's a glitch anyway, so I'm going to click, uh, click on glitch. So here are all your weapons, and uh, I'm just going to go to hammer, why not? So here is a uh, here are all the tier hammers going up to tier 10. Uh, and we're just going to edit the uh, basic tier 1. So you're going to have the picture here of how the sword, or how the weapon looks. And then you're going to have the file which um, contains all the good stuff. I'm going to right click on that. And I'm going to, oh, oops, uh, hit on, uh, click on that. I'm going to hit edit with notepad plus plus. Alright, so once you are in here, this is, this is all the good stuff. This is where everything gets uh, cool and you can edit all your stuff. Alright, so... Uh, I'm gonna scroll down and here we go. So it uh, word says two-handed if I want to make this just one-handed uh, I can just change this false into a true So I'm just gonna change that to true. I'm gonna change that for all the other ones so um, false if I can spell that correctly and then false uh, again So now we can dual wield hammers which alone is pretty cool So uh, so there you go. You can dual wield hammers Oh, and right here, again, so, two-hand, false. Alright, so, here we go, this is the power, this is, um, this is how much damage it actually does. So, eight really isn't nothing, uh, really isn't anything to brag about, but, uh, let's see, what about a thousand, thousand something, something that's, uh, pretty good. So, we change it to a thousand, we can also change the speed so it doesn't take, so it's not so slow. So, it's at, uh, 0 0.1, I'll just change that to 0 0.5. I just increased a little bit and uh, there we go so it is now one-handed since all the two-handed are changed to false uh, the power is increased and the speed is increased so once you have all this stuff edited you can just hit save and there you go so now congratulations you successfully mod uh, uh, modded your uh, your thing but uh, if you go back here let me just show you uh, back to the assets uh, you actually have this thing called, or uh, right before assets, you have this folder called mods, uh, and it says mods go here. Um, I'll save that for another tutorial, but uh, you can package these things, so you can package your uh, edited files into the mods, so it doesn't directly affect your assets, so once you don't want it anymore, you can just delete that file from the mods. I'll save that for another tutorial, but this is just the basics, so I'm just going to stick to that. Alright, so you've done all that, and uh, I'm just going to hop over to Starbound and uh, see if it works. Alright guys, so here I am on my ship with my new glitch character. So I'll let you see if it worked. I'm going to go over to my metal workstation, scroll down to the tier 1 stuff, here we go. And uh, there it is. This is the hammer that we edited, it is called the Crunch. And uh, let's get a little drum roll, we'll see if it, uh, if it worked or not. So, there we go. One, oh, and that was my phone. Uh, but uh, there we go, 1,000 damage per swing. Uh, that, that's pretty awesome. So 1,000 damage per swing. It's also one-handed. Uh, and let's see here. 
I have just enough to make two, so uh, what a coincidence. Let's just uh, let's just make two then, and uh, let me just equip that. So here we go. Uh, I have dual wielded hammers now. Uh, this is pretty awesome. Uh, hopefully we can find something to test this uh, this awesomeness on. Uh, so you know this is this is pretty awesome. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, so as you can see, it does crazy amount of damage. I'm getting a little bit lag, but that is all right. So uh, as you can see, these things these things are just crazy cool. But anyway, that is the video. That is the tutorial for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, you use it for good, not for evil, or whatever. Do whatever you want with it. Uh, but uh, anyway, that is the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is recorded on um. December 24th, Christmas Eve. So, uh, go forth, be jolly, be merry, have a have an awesome Christmas, guys. Uh, but anyway, that is the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have a good day.